kept crying after him to the point that they had he had to address her. Keep reading. The woman was a Greek, a Seraphonician. Seraphonician by nation. Uh -huh. And she besought him that he he would cast forth the devil out of out of her uh -huh. daughter. But Yahweh Shah said unto her, Let thy children first be filled, for it for it is not meet to take the children's bread and to cast it, uh, it unto the dogs. Now what was he saying? He was saying, I'm I, I I'm not sent to you. I first had to start with those that know the truth, which that's the children, and give them the bread, which is the truth, and not cast it unto dogs. Now when you look that word up dog in the Greek, all right, it means uh what's it? Kanion, a kion, all right, Strong's Greek 2965, it says, any ungodly man with impure minds exercising immoral ways which will exclude them from the New Jerusalem impotent man. Okay, what was that? That was her following them the ways of the Greeks because she was Hellenized. So he called her a dog. Now when you uh, calling a woman a dog, that's calling her a bitch because that's what a female dog is. This is from the etymology dictionary. Bitch, old English, uh, bitchy. Meaning female dog. Okay. It says, I'm going to skip to the part where it talk about it. As a term of contempt applied to women, okay, in modern 1990s, originally black English slain, it is used with reference to a man is sexually contemptuous from the woman. An insult. Bitch. A she-dog or doggist. The most offensive application that can be given to a woman even more provoking than that of a whore. So the Lord called a woman, an Israelite woman, a, a, a dog. Go to, uh, what's that in the pocket for? Uh, so I can get it real quick. I can pull it up on here. Speak while I, while I get it. Right, so you uh, manginas out there that get offensive when you call uh, a woman a bitch, that's rightfully so. The Lord called a woman a bitch, man. Basically. Basically. Uh, Ecclesiasticus 26.25 A shameless woman shall be counted as a dog, but she that is shamefaced will fear the Lord. She was shameless. So he called her a dog, man, because she was in the ways of them Greeks. Read that again. So yes, yes, if we, if we, if we be like Christ, okay, or be like Yahushua, we will use terms like calling a shameless woman a dog, a Hellenized woman, which the majority of the women of our nation is extremely Hellenized by the society. We call them bitches. Or a dog. Keep reading. Mark chapter 7, verse 27. But Yahweh said unto her, Let the children first be fed, filled, for it is not meet to take thy children's bread and to cast it unto the dogs. And she answered and said unto him, Yes, Lord, yet the dogs under the table eat the children's crumbs. So she admitted that she would be considered a dog according in that culture at that time okay because the jews didn't really associate with the the israelites that was uh following the ways of the greeks they separated themselves but she admitted that and then keep reading she acknowledged that she didn't buck up against that keep reading and he said unto her for this saying go thy way the devil is gone out of thy daughter so he healed her daughter Go to uh, we're gonna go to Matthew 24 and 19. Okay. Yeah. Now let's see if the Lord pronounced judgment on women in the Bible for this clown. Okay. It ain't that it, it's like one or two more scriptures. And then we'll wrap it up. 
Genesis chapter 24, verse 19. And woe unto them that are with child. Those are with child. What's that talking about? Pregnant women, children. So the Lord pronounced judgment on children and pregnant women because they will be with child. Keep reading. And woe means destruction. And to them that give suck in those days. Who gives suck? The woman gives suck from her breast, right? So the Lord, he pronounced judgment on women. Clown. Go to Luke 21 and um, I think it's, I think it's 23. Cause it's gonna go in more depth on that same, same, uh, same thing he just said. Luke chapter 21 verse 23. Is it 23? It says woe unto you. Wo but woe unto them that are with child, uh -huh. and to them that give suck in those days. For there shall be great distress in the land, and wrath, great wrath upon this people. And that's gonna happen in these days, like it happened back there in 70 AD. And a lot of women suffered and they was destroyed them and their children when the famine came, okay? Now go to Luke chapter seven, verse 18 through 35, and then we'll, we'll start shutting down. Luke chapter seven, verse 18. Verse 18. And the disciples of John showed him of all these things. Uh -huh. And John calling unto him two of his disciples sent them to Yahweh saying, Art thou he that should come and look or look we for another? When the man were come unto him, they said, John the Baptist hath sent us unto he saying, Art thou he that should come? Uh -huh. Or look we for another? That's not a good time, dude. And in, in that same hour he cursed oh, cure. many he cursed many cured. Uh -huh. cure many of their infirmities and plagues uh -huh. and of the evil spirits. And unto many that were blind he gave sight. Uh -huh. And Yahweh Shai, and the Yahweh Shai answered and said unto them, Go your way and tell John what things ye have seen and heard. Uh -huh. How that the blind see, the lame walk, the lepers are cleansed, and the deaf hear, and the dead are risen, and to the poor the gospel is preached. That's right, key reader. And blessed is he whosoever shall not be offended in me. That's right. So the Lord, he said, blessed is he that is not offended in me. And you're offended because we're coming in the same spirit that the Lord was in. Can you read it? And when the messengers of John were departed, he began to speak unto the people concerning John. What, what when he went out unto the wilderness for to see, uh -huh. and reed shaking in the wind, with the wind. But what went he out for to see a man clothed in soft raiment. Behold, yeah, they yeah, yeah, because this, this clown said we look shabby out here in our garments and our beards be looking shabby, you know. John the Baptist had a garment of camel hair with a little a leather girdle. Okay, so what the hell are you talking about? That wasn't stylish. 